and hello everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play part of SpongeBob SquarePants. But before we begin, I'm getting all 100 golden spatulas. This is your lovely Ozuzonic. And in the last part, we start a snow mountain, sand mountain, and we got us tons of um, golden bolts. And of course, it's too much for us to climb. We got a lot of stuff, and now we are going to continue on and see if we can get the last sock, last socks and golden spatulas. Here we got six of them in, in the last part, yes, pretty much. Now we are going to start the last mountain, Sand Mountain. Which is the hardest one of them all, and the longest one, you will see in a moment. I'm built for speed with this aerodynamic physique. But I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. And this time we gotta find fight. Uh, break tech Larry's time. And we can't do anything with this because we can blow it up somehow. No we can't. Oh yeah we can. Oh, never mind. Just, just ignore me. We also have one. We are also gonna need Sandy for a few guns socks. For a few socks. So that's going to happen later. I see we get a quite a lot of time for this. Um, yeah, there's also this one has a lot of curves like this, so you gotta know how to use your sand thing again. And there's one suck right here, the first one. The second one we need sandy for, and the third one we don't. We need one suck with sandy. I don't know where the suck is, so don't worry. So, and this time this platform will move to the right and the left in the same direction. Okay, for the next suck, you want to go up here and hit the switch. Because that will unlock something important later on for us. So, let's go down here. Maybe you could have seen the suck right up there. We should need Sandy. See this now? We'll roll, roll down here. And we'll unlock this for us. Which we're gonna move in. You could do either two ways. You could either jump up there and get a purple shiny object. What you really want to do is go down here, follow this road. And there's a suck waiting for you. Don't fall into the trick purple shiny object. Don't fall into it unless you want to do this twice. I guess you can pick it up with Sandy if you want to. But anyway, we got it. So, um, yep, one more. Okay, we're good. We're really good. So, um, just ride down the hill and survive, I guess, for this bit. Then you're, then you're, then you're fine. I think we're almost done with it. We're not so long anymore. Jump here. Get quite a lot of those um, shiny objects over here. If you jump, just time to drive with jumping. So let's go here. Might as well. In the middle. So. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Random bam. Huh? This part can be kind of tricky because this one has sharp corners. If you don't come make it, you can just double jump your way up there again. And almost fell right there, so but I survived, and there's the end. So, and we got a lot more eyes, which is not good. So, up, up here, and get rid of all the robots. Up here again, awesome, I survived. And get rid of you first, because you're the most important. So, my hit him as well. So, let's take out the robots. So, I hit the switches. Seems there's no thing, so there's no sand block for waiting for us to destroy this farm. It's not like it's going to fall from the sky. I curse you! Yeah, I know what's going to. I know what's going to happen. So when we get our seven, seven spatula, and the eighth one is right above there to pick up for us. We're just going to pick it up really easy. So go there and go in here. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Thank you, Larry. I'll take that. Thank you. And this is number eight of our um, Sand Mountain list, which gives us a total of 53, which is great. Pretty good. Pretty good, I guess. So what we have to do now is just change Sandy and go down a hill one more time. Just one final time, just to get a little bit, I guess. Uh, no, no. It's not the last time you will 
she used not the last time we are going to slide down hill. I think we need to do it two more levels. We'll just yeah, two more levels. Yeah. Yeah, two more levels. Two more levels, yes, 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 two levels. Okay, stop it. Be sure to get used to this book if you will be hearing it a lot in the level. So what we gonna do is jump here and go over here. You'll get a lot of speed if you are on the board, so don't worry if you're not going to make it. So we got our annoying robots, just a few of them. And we got our favorite rocket shooting robot. So what he's gonna do is maneuver a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. Okay. Rid of you. And get our final sock. Number 60. Since we only need two twenty more socks if we want to get all the socks from Sponge. All the socks from Patrick. Let's see if we cannot go there. Let's see if we can. I could have shown the other path, but oh well to click for that. It's not just your basic things again. Get this purple one over here. Whee! It's all the way down. Surprise her collection broken here. Well, it's with a lot of games. Um, yes, with a lot of games. I've been playing Portal. Portal and Portal 2 for a while. It's pretty fun games. Maybe I'll do a let's play of it uh, when I feel like it. Maybe uh, with Shadow Dead or with another small part that I've planned. I mean, between big let's plays. So I may I may do one of those. I'm still playing the second one. I've, I've completed the first one. It's real fun. But uh, since I was talking to my friends in Skyrim, really couldn't hear the audio well. It's going to be probably changed when I do play it. Uh, when I do play it. That seems we're almost there. So be sure to look out for some Portal Portal 2 in the future. I've also played the Portal Prelude. But I couldn't complete it. It was really hard. And I mean, I don't mean um, Cosmic Wall or Cosmic Wall or of Eternal Engine Art. No, I mean really hard. It's just ridiculous how hard it is. I didn't cut past level nine. That's why I gave up. I don't think there are 19 levels or anything. Well, no Portal Prelude, but I do expect Portal One or Two. So, let's go talk to Squidward one more time and then finish up the level. Whoop, don't fall off. Never mind. Okay, how far are we in? Almost 8 minutes. Yeah, we can tackle the boss after this. So, Squidward. Um, I thought he was here, but no, I don't know my sense of direction on you. Seems. Direct. It missed. Fall off. So, just over here and let him destroy it. Whoop! So, Squidward, so Squidward, what do you gotta say of that? Oh, thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace! Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the warm now! Yeah, Patrick doesn't know how to ski. Okay, let's just end speaking the bottom again and tackle on the boss. The second boss and... Well, if you're not counting the mid-boss, I guess. The second main boss, which you get another... I'm great for SpongeBob, so let's go there and not waste any time at all. I'm Mr. Krabs, bye Mr. Krabs. 40M, 40M, I'm just gonna Oh, we're going to the emblems right now, okay. Let's go to the inter industrial park, which we get another cutscene, so I'll keep my mouth shut yet again. You know the deal. Cutscene, shut up. Etc, etc. Et ah! Day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? 
Well, we better figure something out. And pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. And we gotta find a giant Robo Patrick. Oh, we found a giant Robo Sandy, and now we gotta find a giant Robo Patrick. What would I think of next? It's not like we're going to find a giant SpongeBob in giant metal SpongeBob in the end. Nah, that's really just silly. So just wait for him to spin out, and then you will get dizzy, of course, and then just kick me here, and then we should be attack, and that will lose one bit of health. Yeah, those first phase are pretty easy to um, um, avoid. If you t but if you just stand right there, you will get hit, so just move around a little bit. And just take a look where all the shiny things are going. I, I could just, just stand around, I guess. Well, move a little bit. See, I was almost gonna hit right there. See, it's number two. You can also use the ball ball. Which is going to be crucial later on in this boss battle the ball ball. Die! I don't think you can hit him before with the bubble if he's just standing like this and then the backwards because see you both will be you. So let's just wait on until he gets done with it I guess. You spin him right round, round, right round. It's a robot Patrick spin round, right round. Have Sandy to fight out our robots. We are going to need this, by the way. And you see those boxes over there? We are going to need them later. But for for now, we don't really need them. And also the texture thingies, we also don't need any craft things. So let's just kick the robot. Kick me here. Okay. Now he's going to go both over there and launch the liquid. You will not be able to stand in there, so... And when he does this, you gotta use the sandy things, and you can also think jump over. Do that. See if we did fine. So, move on. I always like to stand in for a dark there. I, mean, I don't know why, because I just feel like... Oh, that, was close. that was really close. Sometimes he just sits there in just the wrong position. Which you actually need to hit him. But he's right there. Yeah, see? Get to and go back over there. Got lucky over there. Now to raise even more. So now it's almost down to ground level. I got here. That was too careless. So I thought I was going to be able to survive it without getting hit. Ah, oh, you missed. You suck. So whoops. And go back down here again. On. Yeah, okay. There. Wait until it stops spinning. Like a moron. Oh, it's going to be tough. So we stand over here and see if we can hit him from here. I can, okay. Good. And now we got to use the ball ball as SpongeBob suggested. I want to jump over that because we don't want to get frozen again. But if you get frozen, you will get to play out for on the spot. Like if you're frozen, setting you should in then again. No, it's not like that. And this time you can actually got to watch where he's going to land. So he's going to be over there. So we got to move all the way over there. So get back to where I'm unaware. Let's hit the bubble boy in the back. Perfect. And go back there again. Because I like to stand in the middle and I could get frozen. Or not. I so pretty good. Pretty good far. And if you die to just start at a phase you um, ended up with. So if I die here right now, I will just end up with the third phase and need to hit him three more times. Don't like to do the whole thing over again. So that's good. And it's going to stand over here. Somebody's standing always in the direction I don't right want him to be. See if we can hit him over here. Doink! Okay, okay. A little bit over there. Yeah, that's perfect. 
So, I'm just going to do this freeze move again. Jump over it. See, this boss is not really hard if you know what you're, if you know what you're doing. You don't have to spin around like a moron again. It's not like he's hitting me or anything. He is standing there, he's not doing nothing at all. He's spinning around like a crazy person and his ice cream is going away. Some of his ice cream is just still standing. standing up. Some is just completely mock up again. Okay. Let's go back here again and hit him for the final time. See you in hell, Patrick! Oh, that was my end. Also, my beginning line. No! Fine. Thank you. Thanks for saving me, guys! I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but. I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Silly SpongeBob. And now we have unlocked the final part of Bikini Bottom, which you're going to see right now. Probably Plank is going to talk. After this saving game cutscene. Blah de blah. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you going to do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you. We're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chump bucket to regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chump bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Yeah, like you've figured it out already. We're gonna figure it out now, we got you. Okay, how far are we? In 17 minutes. I guess I could do the usual things around here and start backtracking a little bit in the next part. So what's he what the move we got here I just I can just go to Bob Body and let him explain it. He's right over there. Just get him standing up and go to Bob Body. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob! Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Yep, as Bob but explained. See over there, if you stand L, stand still, you can also move around a little bit where you want to aim it. Let's just say I want to aim it at those three rocks over there. Press the R, the L, and um, go over there and it will hit it. And since we don't have enough for that one, that's the last level you unlock. So this one is, move is going to be pretty useful for us later on. And as you can see, this is the uh, optional thing. It is, let's go all the way to the left. Revenge of the Bride of Plankton's Other Brain. Yeah, configure. And which we need 40,000 shiny objects. And we have 5,000, oh, it's already 15. So we need a lot of those. But I already unlocked it on my um, other account, so that's good. And this is my favorite level so far, SpongeBob 3, which I will be doing as last, because you know it's my favorite. So, and that's all. So, for the next talk, you want to just spin this dumpster once, and it's right, it's right behind the dumpster. So, let's destroy these robots. And there's also, I think, um, we can get two more spatulas out of here. This is on top of the jump bucket. And this is a shiny pair of golden armor. What's wrong, there. Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krab has been overrun by a bunch of them hooplum robots of yours. They've bolted me out! And worse! They've got hold of me, beautiful shiny objects! The Ivan the Krusty Krab? 
Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back the restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Of course, Miss Krabs and his money. Yeah, uh, we're going to enter the Krusty Krab next time because I want to do the uh, little things around here which I can do right now at the beginning of just completing this one up. So you can see over there there are three switches. So we're going to meet with the Bubble Cruise if it's called like that. Over here. And if you hit all three of them, there will going to be a platform up here. Right? So that's good. So the last one over here. And now there's going to be a platform appearing. Out of nowhere. Yeah, go figure. So, now, what you want to do is go over here first. And get a shiny pair of gone underwear. Wow. The last one. Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Yes. It's the final health upgrade we can get. So, be sure to use it wisely. And there's our next golden spatula over here. Which is number? 55. Sweet! Um, do, can we do all the things around it? Yeah, there's also one we can get in the jump bucket. One golden spatula. It's pretty easy to get, so I might as well get it right now. Let's go visit our good old friend Plankton. And as you can see, it's not very busy in here. And there are just thunder tickets everywhere. So let's go destroy those thunder tickets. Oh, never mind. There's also some regular ones in there. Mm, yeah. Six a lot of time. So let's go down. TV's going to drop down. Slash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children. And stomp on your children's children. This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. They serve food yep. here, yes, but they don't This seems them. like Plankton is denying everything, although could just return sign on it. I did it! Okay, the next golden spatula is the one to final. It's pretty easy, just wall jump over here. It's over there. There we go. Easiest spatula ever. Which makes up a total to 56. And I'm going to stop right there because I'm already way too long. Busy for each month, way too long. You no, know, and we need 75 spatulas to enter the final level. No, we don't. You know, just need five. Uh, 75. Oh, I need one more. Yeah, no, one more. Don't. Okay, so it seems now we can go backtrack and get the remaining spatula from um, downtown Bikini Bottom, which we are going to do in the next part. So in the next part, we can just stand for the question graph because it's nice. So in the next part, we are going to backtrack to downtown Bikini Bottom and get some remaining socks and remaining spatula. So, thank you for watching. This is your lovely Zoom Sonic signing off. See you then. See you at the next part.